Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Santoshi Nandigam, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist in Cadence Hospitals, Kodambakam, Chennai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Skin care rules, kattayama, enna enna rules vandhu nama follow pannanu pregnancy ila and soli amma therinjukula. Number 5, Vitamin C Serum. We all know fruits and vegetables are really good, nama the, uh, you know, as uh, if we increase the content of uh, the fruits and vegetables, it gives good immunity, boosts the immunity, their antioxidants, uh, they do good to our body. But what most women don't know is vitamin C in the form of serum when applied to the skin is as good as, you know, your entire skincare routine put together. So uh, it is an antioxidant, it is an anti-aging serum, that is it decreases the age of your skin it gives a glow from within it improves the uh, you know capability of the skin to heal or the tissues to repair well so adding a vitamin c serum yes vitamin c serum is very safe in pregnancy you can use it adding it to your skincare routine can actually do wonders don't forget epome marakave koodadu and madri edavadhu oru skincare product irundha it is your sunscreen I cannot emphasize more on the importance of sunscreen and especially women who are exposed to uh, sun for longer hours or whose nature of work determines them to be, you know, working in the sun. You, they have to apply sunscreen with a preferred SPF of 50 or above. Uh, and the sunscreen should be applied at least every four hours uh, to make sure that the sun exposure is decreased or the skin is protected from the ultraviolet rays. Uh, sunscreen use pannanu, konchu use panna poduma, jastiya use pannanuma. You can have a, uh, an approximate uh, quantity which is half a teaspoon of sunscreen or sunscreen which accommodates to your first three fingers. So that is the quantity of sunscreen you should be applying and reapplying every four hours if you have a constant exposure to sun. Rule number seven, absolutely no to anything that says tretinoin or isotretinoin. So isotretinoin and tretinoin are wonderful acne treating uh, ointments or creams or tablets. But unfortunately, and the render products, they, have, they cause birth defects in the babies. So any woman pregnant try pandranga or pregnant or they have future plans of pregnancy, we tend to avoid using these tretinoin or isotretinoin products because and the products the birth defects The baby can have some kind of birth defects. So absolute no to any of these products and I'm sure if they are prescription medications, so you cannot just buy uh, them over the counter. And the other thing you have to remember is, uh, you know, acne spot treatment and soli patches uh, so acne patches, most of the acne patches contain benzoyl peroxide or clindamycin, which are also not advisable during pregnancy. So pregnancy la acne vanda epidi treat pananu, acne vanda yevlu quicka heal pananu girdukka. I made a very detailed video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, uh, last but not the least, uh, rule number eight: wax pananuma, shave pananuma, trim pananuma. There is no real evidence against waxing, but uh, because pregnancy the skin sensitivity increase wax is painful. But as it is, you can wax. One thing that you cannot really do is shave. I wouldn't generally advise my patients to shave during pregnancy especially the pubic hair because shaving pulls out the hair follicle from the root. So, um, you know, infection varadakka nariya vaya Instead, you can use an electrical trimmer to cut off the pubic hair. Honestly, nobody really cares. Your gynecologist really doesn't care if you've shaved or if you've not shaved. But if you want to, you can always go for trimming. So, these are the skin care rules that you should follow during your pregnancy. If you like the video, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much.